Hello everybody, Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here, back at you with, or back with you for <laughs> prepositions and nouns and stuff and verbs. <laughs> You'd think I was a linguist or something. Day 11, December 6th of my holiday gift extra extravaganza 2021. I'm obviously going to have problems talking today. Hopefully I will improve as day as the day goes on or as the video goes on. I don't know. <laughs> day 11. Welcome back. I am glad you have joined me once again for this. If this is your first day here, where have you been? You have missed a ton of goodies. We do have some more coming though, so stay tuned. So let's see. Painting yesterday, we didn't get it all done. We pretty much ran out of steam by lunchtime and decided, you know something, some downtime over this weekend would be good. So we just have the trim to finish basically and then cutting in around all the trim. So yeah, we needed the rest and I'm glad we took it. It'll get done, but what we did get done looks gorgeous. So happy with it. So. Again, many thanks to those of you who are supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee. I do appreciate it so much, um, and it does help tremendously. I don't know how many gifts so far, but the pile keeps growing. I plan to spend some time today getting more mailed out. So, um, having said that though, I looked through this morning, I went through and made piles of all of my remaining gifts. I have enough for 11 more days. We're not going for 11 more days. I've decided that Friday will be the last day and the remaining gifts will just be given away on my regular floss tube videos starting in January. So much more spread out, but the gifts will keep on giving. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just, it's it'll, by Friday I'll be ready to call it, to call it a day, so. Let's see, a couple of you have mentioned how much you like the image that I show at the beginning of these videos. I do have a confession to make. It is from a store here in Idaho Falls called Mini Bazaar. It's a, it's a home decor store, but of course at this time of year, it is totally set up for Christmas. I mean, an explosion of gorgeousness. And they have all of these displays, of course, kind of set up as as unique units you know as all as one and that one that i showed i took a picture of it because i just want to get the whole thing <laughs> i just want to buy it all already you know planned out and just put it up on one of my high ledges the high ledge in my living room is my christmas display up there i've not been back to the store i need to take mike with me haul him kicking and screaming, and we just haven't had a chance to get back over there. A lot of these kind of stores here, there's a couple furniture refinishing stores, um, that home decor store, and a couple other ones are only open when, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, um, yeah, I won't, I mean, you know, that is most of the week, but still getting there, we only have the weekend, and if we're painting on the weekends, you know, because Mike doesn't want to go out after a full day of work, um, so for painting on the weekends, you know, that stuff just doesn't get done. So anyway, I do want to get that whole display though. <laughs> okay, speaking of Christmas decorations, I loved hearing about your outdoor decor. Um, I would say some of you are as much in love with outdoor lights as I am. I love driving through neighborhoods and seeing outdoor lights. I, and I, I, I would love to have my house just totally lit up. Mike just is not a fan. I mentioned yesterday he doesn't want to get up on the ladder again, which I totally understand. Um, and, he, you know, he could basically take it or leave it. So, um, yeah, we'll be happy with where we are right now um, and add on some every year, I hope. Some of you do go all out. Some of you have decor that was passed down from your parents. Um, homemade nativity scenes, homemade sleighs, homemade uh, reindeer. <laughs> oh, I love that idea. Um, 
a lot of you can't put up anything more than just like a wreath on your door because you live in apartments or condos. And of course, some of you also live on farms and you figure nobody's seeing it. So um, you keep it simple and that's good too. You know, simple and elegant is always a good, a good way to go. Um, <laughs> I'm not very good at that. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on. Yesterday's winners. Let me pull tomorrow's gifts over here so I can move the little tags over. My little tags are looking a little bit, a little bit worn. Um, okay, so number one, let me get actually down to the list so I can tell you. Hey Pumpkin. Hey Pumpkin is going to Emily Davis. Emily says, mine will always be white, her lights. No multicolored large, large lights on this house. I find it makes the house look regal and fancy. I have to admit, Emily, I prefer white lights as well. My younger son would have put all the colors, all the places if he could. Um, but I prefer just white, just wherever I could put it, basically. One of you did mention um, little pegs that you put in the ground that you string the lights along so you don't have any lights on the house but kind of outlining sidewalks and flower beds i need to find those so you know who you are i actually commented on your comment and didn't ask in the comment and i should have where did you get those is it something that i can find easily like on amazon that would be awesome number two Oh, and thank you to those of you that did send me recipes yesterday. They all look so good. I've saved them all off. I will be talking to Mike. I would really like to try something this season, but what, since we're going out to Seattle to visit my son out there, um, I don't know what kind of cooking stuff he has in his apartment, um, you know, as a young bachelor. So I don't know. We'll have to figure that out, but we might... I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling today. Number two, jeans and weenies. So cute. This is going to Ann Shaw. Ann says, I make monkey bread for holiday breakfast too. Nom. Um, thank you, Jan, for another... Oh, goodness, my iPad just bounced down. Ah. Thank you, Jan, for another fun Christmas season. We decorate our deck railing with white twinkle lights. Oh, we could put lights out back, too. I would just have to string them along the balcony. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> we don't have our Christmas tree yet. The delivery of that has been delayed, so I think I need to put the lights outside. Number three, pins and orts. This is going to Nana's mom, N-A-N-A-Z mom. And she says, the only outside decoration that I put out is a wreath on my front door. And again, simple, sweet, straightforward. What's not to love? Number four is the Rainbow Bridge. This is going to Liz Florum. She says, I put up, I only put up a Christmas flag at one entrance and a hanging tree at the other door. Simple, but effective. Number five is fall century and it is going to char j 57 or charge 57 i don't know when mom and dad retired from the family farm our family moved there we inherited the wooden oh this is one of the homemade ones we inherited the wooden nativity scene my husband well i don't know whether it's handmade but anyways my husband enjoyed putting it up with the white with the white machine shed as background with a bale of straw every Christmas. He'd put a lighted star above the nativity scene and floodlights shining towards the nativity, which caused shadows on the machine shed. It looked really nice. That sounds really nice. It sounds really pretty and peaceful. And then number six, the Christmas stocking. This is going to Mary Lou W. She says, the hubby just put four strands of blue lights on our Japanese maple, and they look so pretty and bright at night on our condo. We also have a wreath on our front door. So that's awesome. All right, so that is today's, or yesterday's. Again, I, I was late tagging 
all your comments yesterday. So, but I did get them all tagged. So I will be doing that, um, commenting on your comments so you know where to email. It's just my email address that's in the in the description box. But um, anyway, today's. Nina is sitting here next to me all disgruntled because when I get up to put the camera in the stand, if she's on this chair and I get up, she takes over the whole chair. And then it's a battle trying to get her moved over so that I can have some of it. Yes, you're spoiled. She just looked up at me like, Mommy, keep petting me. All right, today. Um, first of all, let's see. Kristen from Cat Craft Company reached out to me with a Biscornu pattern, a, a digital pattern, that she would like to give three away. She did gift one to me as well. And it is called Bees Cornu. Get it? Bees Cornu. She remembers me saying that, um, I don't know whether I'd gotten some strawberry patterns or some Biscornu patterns a while ago, and she remembered me saying that maybe I would make 2022 my year of strawberries and Biscornus. I've never done a, I've never done either of those. So she reached out and she said, I've got a Biscornu for you. It's small, it's a small and simple chart that I made potentially as someone's forced Biscornu to get the hang of them. I hope you like it. It is really, really cute, Kristen. Now, I looked over the pattern. It is, um, like, like she said, a simple chart, but she has complete instructions in there for finishing the Biscornu. So I will be giving that a try. And I do still plan on making 2022, I'm going to do some. I don't know how many. I don't know how often, but I want to I want to try this Gornews and strawberries in 2022. So, for that pattern, there are going to be 3 of you who win that, and you will be getting it from Kristen. I will be sending her the names of those who won, and she will be sending you via her Etsy shop the pattern. It it will be a PDF. Okay, so that is one my number's now off because that's a digital one. Number two, we'll put two on here. This is Louise and Henry. I meant to actually bring mine over, but I forgot. So if you remember, this is a recent finish for me. Little House Needleworks, Louise and Henry. Number three, we have another kit from Forbidden Fiber Company. This is the one I got a while ago, the Gilmore Girls kit. So it has the chart. It has the needle minder, and it has the floss. I'm keeping the fabric. Sorry. Not sorry. So number three is the Forbidden Fiber Company pattern kit, kind of. Number four, speaking of fabric, and oh, talk about tempted to just keep it for myself. Tree, another um, Fat Quarter from Treehouse Fiber Arts, Legacy Fiber Arts. So this is a 40 count. It's called Nor'easter, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous gray fabric. And included is a caramel lollipop. Just beautiful. Wait till you see this one. So that is number, where did I put the number? Okay, this is number four. So this is number five. I reached out to Christina of what whilst Iris Nats, and she sent me her newest pattern. This is Mary Valak, 1781. So it is the pattern along with the Weeks Dye Works floss. So she has partially kitted up kitted it up for you. She sent me this sweet little card, and it says Mary Valak, 1781, and the Weak Style Works Flosses. I hope whoever wins the chart enjoys stitching Mary's sampler as much, much as I did. Best wishes, Christina, whilst Iris snaps. So that is number five. Number six. Okay, so 
I didn't mention, um, this is open international. This one isn't, the fabric isn't, and the kit isn't. I will be linking below. Um, which just went through my mind. I will be linking below Forbidden Fiber Company, Treehouse Fibers, and um, Whilst Iris Nap Naps. Christina said she does have a website, and um, right now she only sells PDFs via that website, but she hopes to soon be selling paper patterns as well, but I will link that below. So those, the first one is international, the rest are, and actually all the rest of them are um, US only, unless you wanna pay shipping. Number six is Winter Row. And yeah, the pattern is a little beat up. It's obviously been well loved, but the chart itself is perfectly read readable. There's no problem with it. And number seven is Baby's, Baby Bear's Kit by Bucilla and it does have the fabric and the floss, number seven. All right, so that is the ones for today. Our question of the day is from Trisha, the left-handed stitcher, and I thought this was a very interesting question. What are your favorite holiday symbols? What makes you think immediately of, a, of whatever holiday when you see it, like hearts, pumpkins, holly, snowflakes. Is there a certain symbol that you think, that you, excuse me, immediately see and think, oh, Christmas, love it. Do you have a favorite? Or is it just like, oh, whatever. Yeah, Christmas is coming. <laughs> Winter is coming too. All right, yeah, we're actually, they actually have a um, forecast of snow today. We shall see. All right, that is all for today. I can't think of anything else I have to tell you. So what I will say is I love you guys. I so appreciate you being here and spending time with me each day. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.